Hi, this is Anthony with a tutorial on how to use Wonderfox Video Watermark. In a previous tutorial, I did a brief review on Video Watermark. So now let me show you how to use it. Let me start off by giving you a quick walkthrough of the user interface. So this is what the opening screen looks like when you first open Video Watermark. In this left side panel is where you upload your videos. You can use this Add Video button or just drag and drop the videos here. On the right side is your video player, and down below is where you add your video watermarks. These buttons are not active right now because we have not added any videos yet. So let's do that. I'm going to click on the add video button and then add this video. As you can see it's now showing up in this panel. And you'll also notice that these buttons are now active. Let's start by adding a text watermark. I'll click the add text button and it will open up this new window. The video player is now on the left, and in this section is where you can control your text watermarks. Let me change this default text to ajgodino.com, and I'll click the Add button below. As soon as I do that, you'll notice this text box in the preview section. It's very tiny, and you will notice that it has created a layer in this section. You can use this font button to change the font size, color, etc. of the text. I'm going to change the font color to brown and then the font size to 36 and then click OK. I will then change this general setting to tile and as you can see it's added a tile text to the video. I can then use this opacity slider to make the text transparent and I can even rotate the text using the rotate slider as you can see. And then finally click OK once you're happy with the result. Now let's add an image watermark. I'll click this Add Image button and you will see a similar window. Click the Browse button to add an image. They have a huge library of images organized in various tabs. Or you can upload your own by clicking the User Defined tab. As you can see, I've uploaded my own logo. So once you've uploaded your image, it's going to show up here. And you can click the Add button to add the image. You can use this alignment section to place the image wherever you want on the video or just drag and drop it. You can use this resize section to change the size of the image. And you can use this opacity slider to make the image transparent, like so. In this layers section, you can see that there are now two layers, an image and a text layer. We are currently in the image section. So if you wanted to edit the earlier text watermark, you would have to click OK and then click on the Add Text button again to edit the text. Similarly, now we are in the text section, so you cannot edit the image watermark. Down below is a timeline and it's mainly used to animate your watermarks. I will be creating a separate tutorial on how to create animated watermarks, but for now we'll just click OK and it'll bring us to the opening screen. You can then preview the video, and then once you're happy with the result, you can click the Run button. It's then going to pop up this dialog box where you can change the output settings. In this top section, you can change the output folder and the output format. I'll choose MP4. For the rest of the settings, you can leave them as default or change them if you need to. And then finally, click Run. Depending on how long the video is and how many videos you have, as well as the number of watermarks, this process could be fast or take a little while. But that's pretty much it. There is so much more to Wonderfox Video Watermark, and you can check my other tutorials to learn more about it. Well, hope you found this video tutorial useful. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And thanks for watching.